Good morning and thank you for coming to our presentation. We could have chosen any of the offer good sessions at this time or, or just take some rest on this Sunday morning. So thank you for being here with um, my name is Stefan Weida. And I'm Istana Michalek. We prepared the session about accessibility. We come from Poland, from Polish Joomla Foundation, and we have some accessibility issues here in Poland. But first of all, Joomla is my everyday work and life. <laughs> Joomla is my way, my life, <laughs> and my wife. <laughs> uh, we are from Poland. Uh, we, for several years, we have been dealing with the accessibility of websites. Recently, within the government project, um, uh, we have been imp implementing uh, the public task Kuźnia Dostępnych Stron, which Justyna talked about uh, uh, last year during J and Beyond. Yes, during the project, project realization, we uncovered some construction problems in accordance with accessibility requirements. Although in recent years there has been done a lot of work for Joomla to adopt it to build websites for all people, accessible websites, perhaps these actions were focused on other more important tasks. Anyway, we have found some issues. And this we this is what we want to talk about with you. We would like to invite to take a moment to reflect on the accessibility of Joomla call, Joomla extensions and Joomla template. We want to convince you that today it is very important matter. Right now, when we are about to release a new Joomla 4, we have a unique chance to make Joomla 4 the accessibility leader on content management systems market. CAO experts say content is king. Yes, content is king, but only the content that reaches the address. Content that recipient cannot read see, hear, cannot use, is not king, it's nothing, it is nothing. King is only accessible content, content accessible for all people, all people, not only the selected, for all people. When in 2010, Google Chief Eric Schmidt announced Google new mobile first, it took just a few years, three, four, to make a radical change in the approach to web design. Today we need the same mobilization so that accessibility standards achieve to the right place in the task hierarchy of Joomla is developers, software developers, core extensions and templates. And the question is why? That's because the number, can I do this? <laughs> the number of useless websites that are not adapted to the needs of people with disabilities are increasing day by day. And on the other hand, the number of people with disabilities and also the group of older people who are dis disabled or will be sooner or later at least impaired is increasing as well. And we have to remember that the accessible internet is a chance for active living for people with disabilities. There are some really huge numbers just to make you sure that it's a huge society of people with disabilities with impairments who are just waiting for us. They're waiting for accessible content. 
It's over a billion people, about 15% of our population. You've been talking about this yesterday. Some more really huge uh, numbers. And uh, conclusion, very interesting conclusion, about 15% uh, of uh, po population is disabled. But there was a Forrester's research from Microsoft and over 57% of people will benefit from accessible content. The uh, gap is between 30 or 40% of people who are not disabled, but they also will benefit if the content in, in internet will be accessible. So the conclusion is almost everyone here is disabled or will be sooner or later. So this is the task for ourselves. And the demographic trend, of course, uh, the effect of all the of aging of our society, it becomes more common with the passing years. And the example is that in the United States, over the half of the population of older people, these are 65 <laughs> plus people, over the half of them is disabled. Over the next 35 years, the number of older people will double. So you can just think about this big society. Due to the limited time of our presentation, we it's, will... This is limited because, more yeah. limited because of our problems <laughs> we will at the beginning. We only mention a few issues connected with accessibility. Uh, there are many different definitions uh, for, of accessibility. We chose two. Uh, I read second. Web accessibility means that people with disabilities can perceive, understand, navigate, and interact with the web. People with special requirements don't need special websites. They just need properly designed websites. Why us? Web accessibility involves, involves websites and applications, web browsers and media players, and web authoring tools. tools. Most uh, of us here in the, this room are the web authoring tools design, uh, developers. Accessibility and Joomla. So let's jump back to our yard. Some history. Joomla 1.0. Joomla core team has re released a checklist for implementing the WCAG 1.0 guidelines. The core team specified in it recommendations should be implemented by the site designers and, we, we, and which the pro Joomla project will responsible for. The conclusion of this checklist was a statement published in the accessibility statement, and here is how it goes. We give you tools to comply. The rest is up to you. In fact, building a site um, that mix as meets accessibility requirements in Joomla 1.0 was not easy, but yes, it was possible. The project of Accessible Joomla by Matthias Vasven and Zoran Kovacevic, sorry for my spelling, came with help. And there are also several other enhancements that was released and dedicated for Joomla 1.0, just to make it more accessible. And the milestone became in Joomla 1.5. The new technology of template overview was implemented <coughs> And the default Joomla 1.5 template, B's template, was stateless. The next step, just as great as the previous one, was Joomla 1.6, 2.5. The Joomla front-end code was completely refactored. Andra Tarr, she built an accessible admin template. And first time in history, a blind, absolutely blind person was possible to build to build a website in Joomla, and we would like we would love to show you how this could look like.
Proszę słuchać. No voice. We can't hear it, and this is really as this really sucks. Well, uh, the screen is accessible by the tab on the keyboard. You, you don't need uh, uh, a mouse to create an article. This, this is the video that shows the creation of article in Joomla backend, in Joomla 1.5. You can, we are, at the moment we are adding a uh, picture, an image to the article. We can just, we can just give a title, give a text, give an image. You can do everything with an article, just like everybody of us do this, but using a keyboard. And this is really a challenge in uh, Joomla 3.4, 3.x. And it worked in Joomla several years ago. Joomla backend was absolutely, the template was prepared by Andrew Atars, was absolutely accessible. And this is the end. And these are some this is the list of the change log uh, of uh, the changes that Andra Tar has made to the template, to the backend template to make it accessible. It is a very long list. And uh, the good news is that the change log is still published on the Joomla.org uh, website. This is the link downstairs. Introducing Joomla 3. Project the developers team was focused uh, was focused mostly on adapting to modern design trends, and accessibility issues became less important. And that was the moment they were extremely important. The necessary condition of building accessible website is the template that meets. WCAG2 requirements. Do you Joomla templates creators offer accessibility templates? Uh, first, we would uh, like to say a few words about the unique offer of Italian programmer Francesco Zagnol, who has started uh, his accessible template uh, project in uh, 2011. He offers several accessibility compliant uh, templates and has his unique uh, Zong framework that enables creating accessibility templates. But this is an exception. Now we would like to discuss our result uh, tests. We analyzed seven well-known and popular Joomla templates. We rated two page, three page, uh, two, one, second first, uh, the main page, category page, and the sub page with tabs or uh, accordion. We performed automated testing with the WAVE and AXA tools, and we Conducted, conducted a simple expert study in which we evaluated structure, designated focus visibility, keyboard access, implementation of skip links, and other facilities for people with disabilities. The good news is that some of tested templates need a bit more 
improvements to meet accessibility requirements and become fully accessible. The bad news is that there are serious accessibility errors in the old tested templates. Our observations were only one publisher declares that some of his templates meet WCAG 2.0 requirements. Unfortunately, despite such declaration, there were numerous errors in these templates. And the biggest problem is keyboard uh, availability without mouse. This is why we just showed you the video with the accessibility, accessible template, back, backend template, because it's possible, but it's not possible on the front end, on the templates you can buy on the market. Keyboard navigation over the menu could be handled only in three of seven tested templates. Four of them, we were able just to move between the main positions. The contrast errors are very significant here in this list. <laughs> this is the, uh, the conclusion is that designers just forget the templates are just a usable art and it should be, <coughs> contrast should be, uh, should work. And uh, errors with the marking of the structure are just numerous. Not everyone tested templates, not every one of them use new semantic HTML tags. This is a standard, you know. In five templates of seven, the header hierarchy was disturbed. And about the implementation of ARIA, this is the conclusion that a technology, this is a technology that uh, the designers are still getting to know. It appears somewhere, but it's not as good as it should be now. The next four slides show some common accessibility issues. Joomla designers have ensured that the default extensions generate correct hidden uh, pages uh, and uh, categories and uh, articles. They also enable the setting uh, the hidden uh, the tags of modules headers. Uh, as you can see, a proper hierarchy of headers is a problem for uh, template, template designers. Most likely, this is a result of poor awareness of how important it is for people using screen readers. Example four, a progress, but anyway. The second example is very difficult for us because we pair the video with the voice most important and the voice doesn't work. So the most important thing here is just give me one second, I'll try to, once again, I'll try to get some voice from my, no, it's not this one, but uh, any. A ticket. Mm. <coughs> Jeszcze trzeci dam, dobra? The first video is without The show time, you know. Credible link. 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 Credible link.
You're aware of the situation that this is what the person that can't see hears in her voice recorder, the voice recorder, website reader. Enough. <laughs> and this is what we can do. We have graphic news. This is the following cooperative channel on Subscribe to our informational channel link. Contact us link. For example, code do not step. Quite useless for screen readers users. Let's just move forward to the next example, please. And this is our the keyboard access to tabs, right? Okay. The widgets. Tab selected or tab to more? Control. No. Docs tab selected. Oh, tabs. Out of the list main landmark list with four items contact link. Contact form link. I press and tab. I press tab. Links link. I press tab. Miscellaneous information link. This is named link, as you can hear. And a person who doesn't see, she expects linking to the separate part. Just to move to the... Yeah. Moving around the tabs is absolutely... The person who doesn't see doesn't know what's happening because it's link, 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 no content. And this is how it should like. Dots tab selected. Cats tab selected. Sheep tab selected. Cats tab selected. Tab selected. Tab selected. Sheep tab selected. I always have on the first tab the user will get when you serve. I have a note that how much tab he has and how to get there with the information. And it's make it more understandable. Yeah. Because now we know that I have. I am on the top, right? Yeah. But I don't know how many tabs is there. Of course. Now we know how to expect how many tabs we have. And if you want to go deep, you will. Look, you will and I'll if just you want switch. to skip, you will mm -hmm. skip. And Very nice. It's a great improvement. A lot. Let's get back to the pagination because I found the video. Linky was educated? Oh no, it wasn't. No, 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 it was a stuff there. Joomla extensions. Uh, we have the accessible extensions category at the Joomla extension directory. Unfortunately, there are only seven extensions there, and this is not the place we want to rate them. It's really good to have them. And when we were implementing our project, the Kuzina Dostępnych Stron, we needed extensions to meet accessibility requirements. It was really a mission impossible. We found, for example, looking for the accessible drop-down menu, we tested 30 and three of them were accessible. So it is possible, but it's really hard. For example, we could just try to add uh, um, criterion, another criterion uh, for the uh, people who add the extensions to the German Extension Directory, just to think it's accessible, it's an accessible extension. Anyway, 
This is a chance for uh, Joomla templates and extension developers. It's just enough to adjust the accessibility requirements and promote the accessible extension. Accessible uh, name is very, uh, you know, touchy. Uh, we, are effect we, are, we, we are aware of the fact it's not so easy to do, of course. It's not in, it won't happen in days. Sometimes it needs a refactoring of the code. Uh, but this is the, you should just, maybe you should just take a first step forward and it would be easier and easier step by step. Besides, uh, we would like to show you that there are really lots of people who are waiting for this, for accessible content, but we'll talk about it in a minute. We also made a survey. We asked template, Joomla templates and extensions developers to answer some short questions about how they feel uh, the content are, they are producing is accessible. There were the questions like, do you think that your extensions templates meet accessible requirements or are they evaluated for accessibility? And a really hard question about testing with, with people with disabilities. There was also an open question and asked to give some, some examples of accessibility features they are implementing in their code. There were some interesting answers, people know what accessibility is, and the question about, really tough question about the widgets we've been showing in the video, the widgets uh, are really, really hard to make accessible, much harder than the other concepts. And the last question, it's, it was maybe a bit complicated, but we wanted to ask people which factors affect the lack of accessibility in our Joomla. Uh, templates and components and uh, as you can see their, their luck is in every single question but the biggest one is the low awareness of needs of people with disabilities and that's the situation I got when uh, we were when we, you had uh, your presentation and we started talking with people because they knew uh, I'm interested in accessibility. And we were, it was something that made people understand how does it work on the other side. And I was really shocked that, um, well, you know, I just tested the um, uh, screen readers and so on. I was just doing the simplest test ever, just doing just like this and trying to move over the website. It's just easy like that. But you just have to think, well, I try to do this. And then your eyes are open wide. And you opened wide the people's eyes uh, with your presentations. <laughs> yes, you did this. And this is the most important, I think, the low awareness. We should just remember that there is a huge amount of people with disabilities and at the same place, uh, remember that uh, we can just help them to bring them to the internet and help them to, to use these activities. Instead of Somali, as we can see, there is a challenge ahead. Some Joomla 4 will be released. Until then, maybe there is still time to improve Joomla 4 improve what needs to be improved in the front, and what is most important, make sure that Joomla backend is accessible. For this happen, we need to activate the accessibility team. We have such a team since uh, 2015, uh, uh, but as can you see, for new, it's a team without people. Therefore, a team does that does nothing. Maybe this is place for you or for friends you. who care about accessibility. Feeling for your information, we already know Joomla has new accessibility team leader. If Joomla won't deal with accessibility, it will be useless. 
And one more thing, sorry, because we had a friend who attended my presentation last year and used one of the Kuźnia Dostępnych Stron template to uh, create a project. Would you be so kind and say two words about the feedback you got after publishing the website? Because it's very, very nice to hear that. Yeah, we, we put an intranet with Joomla and the templates, Christina and Oh, yeah, the team. We are the representatives um, of the team. Uh, we made a photo contest for the disabled people. And they are, I don't know really what, they are all brain disabled. And so they were so happy they have something on their own. They can build on their own. They can publish images if they want to. They can send content if they want to. And the editor puts it into Joomla, isn't allowed to change anything. It should take the stuff from the disabled people and put it in the internet. And it's a huge success. It's running since three months and it's great. And his, it's a really, lots of people gathered there. Yeah. Thousands of pictures sent for yeah. the contest. Would you imagine that the contest was uh, <laughs> published and over 8,000 pictures, uh, images were sent for brain disabled people. It's not a huge society, but it's a lot of people who want to participate in the internet. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you.